Following the major fire that broke out this morning at 5 in the country's main airport, JKIA has been cordoned off by the paramilitary general service unit and air operations suspended. Only response and emergency teams are being allowed in. The airport remains closed indefinitely as emergency security programs are now being rolled out in full force. The country's elite paramilitary squad, the Reke Company, was summoned this morning at 11 a.m. at their headquarters based in Ruaraka, Nairobi. A source who spoke to KISS TV said the briefing entailed deployment to all airports where flights have been diverted to, including Mombasa International Airport and the Eldoret Airport. All elite squad officers on leave have been recalled, with those attached to certain VIPs also recalled. The purpose of the deployment is to keep vigilance against the country's enemies who may take advantage of the JKIA fire tragedy and opt to use the less secured airports to infiltrate the country. Enemy number one is the Al-Shabaab. It follows a terror alert in the U.S. that led to the closure of 19 diplomatic posts this week after intercepted communications that were part of a larger collection of intelligence reports all pointed to plans of an imminent attack in the U.S. The Kenya Anti-Terror Police Unit and National Intelligence Services have been holding a series of meetings with their lead squad Reke Company to trace any elements of terror that could be coming into the country. All officers that will be stationed at the airports will work closely with immigration department officials and report on any suspicious activities and individuals. Security will remain high in all government installations in the coming days. Some of the officers recalled were also attached to President Uhuru Kenyatta's security detail just for precaution. For JSO at 7, I'm Freddie Ndemuli.